about the issue of uh, buying of votes in Banyul and other areas, uh, inducing and trying to buy candidates to withdraw from the um, elections, and also the rejection of our replacement for Nyanija and uh, other matters relating to this local government election. Uh, my name is Tom Bogseli. I am the Admin Secretary for Media and Communication. And to my right, we have um, Honorable Amadou Sane, who is the treasurer of the party and executive member. And we have our deputy party leader here, Agiyam Seka, and Almame, who is the spokesperson, and also Admin Secretary for Human Rights, Legal and Human Rights, we also have Modu Sar, who is our election expert um, from Banyul, uh, Central Committee member. We have our MP of uh, Fajikunda, Alaji Yaya, Honorable Yaya Menteng Sanyang. Alaji. You are Alaji also. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable Alaji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, men thanks, uh, yeah. Uh, we have here um, Honorable Yankuba Dabo, who is also our chairman candidate for Birkama Area Council. We have Honorable Musa Baji of Talinding. So we welcome all of you. And yeah, we have an executive member over there, Honorable Lamin K. Jame. And um, I will ask uh, our spokesman to give a short um, statement before we allow Modusa to explain the issue that happened in Banjul. And I'm sure the same issues is happening all over the country, but it's the Banjul one that has been caught red-handed. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sedi the Admin Secretary for Media and Communication. Um, I will start my intervention with um, thanks and praises to Allah and to greet all of you in the holy month of Ramadan. We are in the last 10 days. And we hope that uh, our worship, our prayers, our sadakas, and all the duas uh, will be translated into uh, worthy deeds uh, in the eyes of Allah. May it please Allah. Okay. I call on uh, the deputy party leader to also greet the gathering because this is a, it's a force of its kind of a press conference. I'm sure all of you are wondering where the party leader, the secretary general is. Um, he is uh, right inside with us here, but as is his tradition, he says that the new generation of leaders of the UDP must be exposed, must be seen, must be heard to engage with the issues. And uh, before going into all the things he has said, uh, I will just allow uh, the deputy party leader, Aji Mariam Babukar Seka, to give a word of welcome, and then uh, we can proceed with the press conference. Before we proceed, can we have, can we say, a pre can we say prayers in a different ways? Yes.
good afternoon to all of you. My role is very simple here, to welcome all of you here present on behalf of the party leader who is right in this office. As the spokesperson have just said, this is a com press conference with a difference, not the usual press conference we used to have. The topic have already been told, and some of us will elaborate into those topics. The topics that is going to be discussed here is the topic of the day. We all know the problems about these local government elections. Buying cards, rejecting people, and so on. So the media houses, you are highly welcome. You are free to ask any questions of your choice. Thank you all. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Party Leader. Um, ladies and gentlemen of the media, it is often said that elections are won or lost uh, a few days or a few weeks before the election day. Elections are never won or lost on election day itself. Um, the UDP has been fighting elections for the last uh, 25 years or so. And all our elections, we have tried to comply fully with all the laws of the land, with all the laws in respect of electioneering. What we have seen since 2016 is the continuous erosion of the rule of law where elections are concerned. But before that, I would like to remind all of you that tomorrow will mark seven years when Solo Sandeng last saw the light of day. Seven years when Solo Sandeng's family last saw him. Seven years when he took out the banner at Westfield and said to Gambians, we have to fight for constitutional and electoral reforms. Seven years on, there has not been any significant electoral reforms. What we have seen is voter inducement and several, several voter malpractices, election malpractices. This coming local government elections on Saturday uh, is two days away. So it's very important for all Gambians to note, one, that there are no foreign or international observers this time around. In 2021, the whole country was besieged with foreign correspondents, foreign uh, development partners. Uh, to some extent, the last parliamentary elections, we had a similar uh, number of observers. This time around is local government elections. It is localities, no matter how small, no matter how far away, people will elect their leaders. We have been on a campaign nationwide. Uh, chairman Yankuba Dabo, our chairman, UDP's chairman, of course the elections are not until May, has been crisscrossing West Coast region. And West Coast region is one of the biggest and the most, one of the most important electoral regions of the Gambia because it has uh, close to uh, 40 percent of the votes uh, total and they are also neighbors with our brothers and sisters in the south of Senegal so we are taking this opportunity to bring the leaders themselves to interact with the media to establish as a matter of fact the things that are going on in the different localities uh, my elder brother, Tom Bongsedi, will talk about some of the developments in uh, the Salum area. And uh, Mozar, our Dwaye, in terms of our relationship with, with the IEC, uh, he sits in the Inter-Party Committee with, uh, with Her Excellency, the Deputy Party Leader. And uh, she is, uh, he is representing uh, Banjul. What is going on in Banjul 
I think uh, we are all aware of it. And at this juncture, I would like to really pay tribute to Honorable uh, yeah. Fatuma Tanjai Tuma for her solidarity and for her citizen activism to ensure that no electoral malpractices happen in, his, in, in her constituency. We have also had her audience expressing solidarity with the three councillor candidates that are standing in Banjo South. That she is supporting them because one of them is a lady and uh, they are standing under the banner of UDP. But we have always tried to make our politics a politics of performance. I think the whole of this country has seen the performance of UDP in local government. Uh, the former president of Senegal used to say this, this way the Bokuchi. In Banjul, in KMC, in uh, URR, in uh, LRR, the work of our government, uh, local government leaders is visible for everyone to see. And we would urge Gambians to judge all of them on their performance. And the aspiring candidates, we all know their history, we all know their pedigree, we all know their commitment to serving this country. We are in the politics of service to our nation, and we want to make sure that everything we do, as the party leader has always enjoined us, we do it under the rule of law. Mm -hmm. Whatever the laws of this country say, it is what we are all going to be bound by in the final analysis. So on this uh, brief introductory note, I will now invite uh, Alaj Mozart to talk about the uh, most uh, burning issue in Banjul and what has been uh, done from the point of view of uh, the UDP and other interested uh, Gambian citizens. Thank you very much, Mr. Tal. Thank you very much, Mr. Tal, for that brief introduction. Uh, executive members and members of the press, I greet you all with these blessed words, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we all know why we are here today, because some of the speakers alluded to that uh, this is going to be a special press conference. Yes, it's a special press conference. Uh, taking my very self as an example, since the inception of the United Democratic Party, I think this is the first time for me to face the media publicly. Since the inception of the United Democratic Party on the 23rd of August 1996. So, therefore, definitely saying that it's a special conference, yes, it's a special press conference. Uh, without wasting much time, uh, as I was coming from the IEC regional office in Kanifing, going towards Banjul, I had a call. Someone called me and informed me that, uh, have you heard what is happening in Banjul? I said, no, I'm not even in Banjul. He said that, well, if you are not in Banjul, try to be in Banjul, drive directly to the police station, because there is something happening there. I said, but what is happening? Uh, the individual told me, I have to conceal his name. The individual told me that voter buying by one gentleman, and he was caught by the National Assembly member for Banjul South. And in fact, it was within her constituency that that happened. So on my arrival at the police station, I met some surrogates of the NNNPP, but I never gave heed to what they are saying or what they are doing. I went directly into the police station. That was the time I questioned the police officers who were there on duty, that as a main stakeholder of the political spectrum of this country, 
I would be very interested to know what transpired here. That was the time the police officer told me, well, it has already been taken care of. I say, how was it taken care of? Well, they feel reluctant to answer tomorrow. Well, I said, okay, tomorrow morning I will come back. Then the following morning, I went to the station and asked for the commissioner responsible of Banjul area. And I was told that she stepped out. I said, is the deputy here? They said, yes. That was the time that I went directly to the deputy and explained every, what I have just explained and explained everything to the deputy as to what has transpired. The deputy told me, okay, wait. That was the time he called the station officer. When the station officer came in, he asked him whether he knew what transpired here yesterday in the evening. Well, he said, yes. And what did you do about it? Well, he said that, uh, I mean, I just told them that it's a civil matter. That was the time I cannot control my temperament. I told him, look, you, don't even, you cannot even distinguish what is civil and what is not civil. This is purely electoral fraud and inducement. Number one, the boy should not have been released. Two, he should have been, he should have been accompanied with a police officer to search his house. Thoroughly. Because we don't even know that the, only, the, 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 the two voters card that they explained that these are the two voters that, that he brought in. We don't even know. It could be more than two. That was the time the commissioner told him that, look, this is exactly what you should have done. But notwithstanding, he, he is here on a purpose. And what is your purpose? I say, well, we'll take the matter to a higher height. But whatever the case may be, I want you to give me the diary reference number, which he did. The diary reference number is here with me right away. But the commissioner further told me that, well, as you know, we have a commissioner who is representing us at the IEC. We'll forward the matter to that commissioner. Then I will later get back to you. Since then, that was from day before yesterday to yesterday, they didn't get back to me. Today, they didn't get, back, they didn't get to me. So what I am waiting for is tomorrow to go back to the police to try and find out how far they have gone with this case before going to the IEC, because the matter was reported to the police. So this is the situation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Again, again, Sam. again. <laughs> and if you are interested to uh, to share with me the the diary reference number as well as the voters card which we are confiscated from these boys because he he did return the voters card to the to the to the boys. So I am having a copy of uh, the voters card. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, Mr. Sadie will also explain some experiences that he has had uh, on, on this uh, regard. Uh, thereafter, we will allow Honorable uh, Yaya Menteng Sanyan and congratulations with uh, Honorable Baji uh, for your one year anniversary as National Assembly members, but already they are household names. Like I was saying earlier, UDP's uh, leadership in the elected offices are proving their metal. They are showing Gambians what uh, the politics of development is all about. Um, uh, Mr. Sedi will explain experiences, not around the Greater Banjul area, but a little further down uh, our countryside. Yes, thank you very much, um, Almami. Um, just to address what um, Mozart said, it seems like this is a tactics that the NPP is using throughout the country. Um, two days ago, the governor of CRR and also the chief of Salum, um, Ali, uh, Ali J. Toure, and the MP, and also the Sidinjai, the deputy speaker. They went to Jimbala. Jimbala is in um, Salum, <clears throat> not far from Kaur. That's where our candidate, Modu Jalo, is from. They went there to induce him to withdraw his candidature, and he refused. 
And um, there are several examples like this throughout the country. So it seems like the NPP right now, their only means of winning this election or having some candidates is to induce people and go to candidates, you know, offering them money to, for them to withdraw from the, um, from the elections. We have seen uh, PVP candidates who withdrew in the URR and some UDP also candidates withdrew in Jiao. And all those were induced. In fact, one of them was even um, accompanied by C. Dinjai to the um, Janjambure IEC office for the person to offer um, his um, letter of withdrawal. So these are the things that we will not accept. And uh, we will take the necessary actions when the time comes to rectify this um, matter. Absolutely. What he's saying So, good afternoon to the members of the press, and then afternoon to um, to the executive members we have on the high table here. Now, I just want to talk, just to buttress what they are saying. This voter buy-in thing of inducement that people are alleging, it's not only allegation now. Evidence has now been provided to the police as Mozart narrated in the Banjul case. We're having similar, we're hearing a lot of these stories or narr narratives from people all across West Coast, it is happening there now. And the unfortunate thing is this, the police are not doing anything about it. And that is quite, I would say, serious, because they need to be seen actively doing something to deter people from being engaged in this, because this is fraud, period. It's a voter fraud. fraud. It goes to undermine the credibility of our electoral system completely. And unfortunately, the Independent Electoral Commission, who are supposed to take a lead in this, are also not taking serious action. And they're not, because we expect them to come with a press release, a stand warning, advising all parties to desist from such uh, actions but they are not doing that. And I want to just say a few words about the rejection of our candidate in, um, in Chairman, that is Musa Cham's nomination. We have to be clear about this. That's the appeal that was sent to IEC. Okay, so, so we have the... Already, already the views on that will be the person's nomination. So obviously they are so they, exactly. So, so now we want the public, and both internationally, Gambians, and anywhere, and any international body that has interest in Gambia's democracy to understand what is happening in this country. For example, a candidate who, by law, on the section 51 of the 51.4 of the Elections Act of 1996, it says if a candidate supported by a political party, this is, this is, I'm going to read it verbatimly so that people can benefit from it, understand it clearly. It says where the candidate withdrawing his candidature had registered his nomination under a political party, that political party may within seven days from the date of the withdrawal, field another candidate. Clearly, the law gives us discretion to field in a candidate seven days from the date of the withdrawal of the candidate that is withdrawing. What this law is clearly saying is, it's trying to prevent a situation where one party, say for example the incumbent, is trying to abuse power by inducing candidates 
to withdraw or to induce opposition candidates to withdraw so that their candidates can go unopposed. We understand this. We realize that this is what is at play and decided to fill in a candidate in exercise of this section. Now, the rejection of the IEC, I will read it to you. They rejected the nomination of our candidate relying on section 52. And that is what they quoted in their letter. But what is the law saying under section 52 of the same act, that is the Election Act 1996? That law is very clear. It says a returning officer, this is talking about publication of the particulars of a candidate. So this one is not even talking about rejection of nomination or anything of that sort. This is talking about publishing a candidate who is already nominated. So what you do at this instance is where the candidate is nominated, you publish the candidate's details for the public to become aware that that person is nominated. The IEC relied on that section to say that, because I think this is the phrase they didn't understand, but let, let me read what that section said so that for the benefit of everyone, so that we can all understand what the law is saying and why they were wrong to rely on that section to reject our candidate in this instance. It says, publication of particulars of candidates. A returning officer shall, as soon as may be practicable, pra practicable, practicable, after the close of nominations, but at least seven clear days before the date of election. That is the phrase I believe they misunderstood, and that's what they rely on. Because the next phrase, it went on, it says, or because now it's given an alternative. Where seven days is there, or, and this instance is now saying, if the election is to be held over a period of days. And what we have in this case was that our candidate went there on Tuesday, election was going to be conducted within a matter of days, on, on Saturday. It says, if it's going to be, if election is to be held over a period of days before the first day of that period publish. The law is now telling him publish the, the names and addresses of all candidates deemed to be nominated, names and addresses of all persons nominating candidates, and representative symbols approved of each candidate. So how can anybody reasonably justify that this section gives them authority or discretion to reject the right that a person or a candidate is exercising under Section 51. Now, we want every one of you, because this is the role of the media. It's not only political parties that need to be proactive in strengthening the democracy of this country. You people, as the media personnel, need to bring IEC to task. They need to explain this to the Gambian people. How can they justifiably, reasonably justify, rejection of a political uh, candidate, a candidate aspiring to stand for his people, giving his people a choice in a democratic process in this country? But the IEC is now acting with impunity, trying to behave like they are beyond reproach or beyond the confines of the laws of this land. Because this is blatant disregard of the law. You cannot look at Section 51. And this is, a, this is an, an institution that is being advised by well respected lawyers in this country. What are those lawyers doing? The, U, the United Democratic Party is not letting this go like this. Absolutely. We're going to challenge this to the courts, and we, but we want every Gambian to know what is at play here. The whole of our democratic gains that we have made from 2016 to now is all being eroded. We have seen a government, a sitting government, 
that wants to portray to the world that they are conducting free and fair elections. Where is the fairness in this? Where is the fairness when the state is using state apparatus? You know what they're doing in West Coast? For example, the other day they had a meeting in Faraba, Kumbo East. We have clear evidence. We even have video evidence of that. Video evidence of that. Where they called the alcalos of the whole of that district, trying to, I wouldn't say induce, but I think they were trying to compel them, coerce them, force them into prevailing on their people to vote for MPP candidates. Where is the fairness? How can anybody regard such a system as fair? And this is a government that everybody struggles so hard in order to put in, in place so that we can have better democracy in this country. Our democracy can be strengthened. We can have progress. We can be represented by people that we ourselves, as the people of this country, chooses and not impose on us by the president or by the, 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 the executive body of the government. So I want every Gambian to understand this. This is not just the battle of the political parties. It is the battle of every one of us as citizens of this country, especially the media. You've got to now drum this message out there so that it gets to every Gambian and anybody who is concerned about democracy in this country. Because our democracy is now being uh, discredited, it's been impugned, it's been tainted, it's been undermined by the very establishment that is supposed to be strengthening it because they are the ones benefiting it more than anyone else. If anyone is benefiting from this democracy, it is Barrow and MPP. Because they were the ones holding positions that which they acquired or gained through a, from a democratic process, they claim. None of us are. But we are playing our part, as al said. We are operating within the confines of the law. But they are not. And I want every voter, Gambian voters, to understand that your vote matters. Don't sell it to anybody. And if anyone approaches you as they done it in Banju, go to the police. We have to keep pressure on the police. And everyone, I want the IGP to understand this. You either do the job that you've taken an oath or sworn to do, or you leave the job. But you cannot be the inspector general of the police, and you are allowing these things to carry on in this country. Tomorrow we will hold you responsible for it. The similar, I'm sending similar advice to the chairman of the IEC. You are there for a reason. And there is a reason why we call it independent electoral commission. We didn't have independent electoral commission before. It used to be conducted under the local government. government. Local government. And everybody was saying that that is not fair because you have a state that people are opposing and that state is conducting elections. Okay. Now we are having independent. Where is the independency when the state is able to do everything that they want but the opposition cannot do anything? I thank you all for that. Let me just uh, give it to Honorable Yaminte Sanya. Before you start, can you please just process your answer? Yeah, this way, okay. Uh, thank you uh, very much, uh, the moderator, uh, Mr. Alma Mifandintal. Uh, I thank the entire executive members who are here uh, for UDP. I also thank the ladies and gentlemen of the press uh, for coming. I will reinforce the same apology extended uh, to you by Mr. Uh, Tombong. Uh, we are sorry to delay you. Uh, some of you are here. I, I learned till uh, one hour uh, before the commencement. We are very sorry about that. It was circumstances uh, beyond our control. Well, uh, I don't think I'm going to say anything new that has not been said by the previous uh, speakers. Uh, I just uh, want to tell the IEC to at least uh, be capable uh, of shame. Uh, because for me, uh, if you ask me, this is so disturbing. But NPP know what they are doing. 
uh, if you go on house to house, uh, you will realize that I've never seen an instance uh, where Gambians galvanize themselves uh, into such a, a, a powerful political force and hatred against a political entity like the NPP. So they know this very well. They have done their findings and they have done their analysis and they know they are going to lose this election outright. We are going to give them a knockout blow. Now, the strategy they are using or employing in, 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 in places, especially in the remote uh, part of this country, is to induce, uh, entice, and encourage uh, people to vote for them by giving them uh, incentives. And uh, as earlier indicated by uh, Mr. Dabo, um, this is the responsibility of the civil society organization and you, the media. You see, UDP as a political organization will do their part. That's why we call for this press conference. And we are going to do this on and on and on and on. But the responsibility of the civil society organization and the responsibility of the media is to expose this. Expose this in the CV of all times. Gambians need to know this. Talk to our brothers and sisters that they have to refuse with an attitude as far as NPP inducement approaches a concern. Because we cannot, as Ali Aoun said, we cannot uh, play with the democratic gain we have achieved since 2016. And this responsibility of, of everybody. So they have I appeal to the media and the civil society organization not to leave this to the UDP as a political organization. This is the business of everybody as far as uh, you live uh, in this country. So therefore, the mistakes will go outright. For me, in KMC, it is relatively low uh, because uh, we are very conscious uh, of what is happening around us. Uh, yesterday, I think I slept like 4 a.m. And today also, we are going to do the same thing. This is what we do during the National Assembly election. We make sure that we deploy people in every part of the constituency. So I, I would therefore appeal to other National Assembly members and other political actors for UDP in such constituencies. Today and tomorrow, one day after tomorrow, let's not sleep. Let's make sure we go after them. I'm not encouraging fight. I'm not encouraging, just make sure we have evidences. UDP is a law-abiding political organization. We go to the courts and it can get redress. But as of now, we should all be on extremely high alert. Thank you very much. present and the fourth estate. Uh, I am indeed alarmed and concerned as a citizen and as a representative of the people to hear what has been uh, disclosed here with regards to electoral malpractice. And I believe every Gambian should be equally concerned and alarmed because electoral malpractice has many effects. And we elect people who are supposed to respond to the needs and aspirations of our people. Uh, what electoral malpractice can do, the effects it can do, is to, is to allow incompetent people to come and hold office. Because uh, if we are buying votes, it, it means those that can serve us better, who don't have the means to buy votes, or who want to abide by the rules of the law, will not buy, will not buy votes. At the end of the day, the wrong people will be in, the, in our offices, and the, the, the democracy dividend will be betrayed. Uh, my message is not to repeat what others have said. My message is to Gambians. We must all condemn these electoral malpractices for our own sake and for the development of this country. Uh, the other side of it is it, it, it engenders corruption because they are using funds to buy these votes. Where are they getting the funds from? From our taxes. My money, your money, everyone's money. They are using that to buy a $500, $1,000 that cannot serve you more than one day. At the end, they bring people who cannot serve you better, who cannot give you any service, who don't have ideas. So for Gambians who want development, we should reject this. I know the, the, the election is just two days away, like Mr. Almameta has said. The, 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 any effects of legal recourse, the time is not there. But what we can do is, is the media 
as the fourth estate is anything to go by, is to educate citizens with regards to what is happening currently. And we expect anything that has been said here will be filtered down to the four corners of this country as soon as possible. So the Gambians know that we cannot be killing ourselves because this is the best time we have to, to select good representation, to select people who can deliver, to select people who can render good services to our people. If we miss that opportunity, we are going to continue to be in abject poverty for the next four years. Now, Gambians have that opportunity now to select good leadership. We have that opportunity now to, to select people who are going to render good services. Let's not squander that opportunity for a mere fact of $500 or $1,000. And like, like, like uh, the, the other speakers have said, we have seen the, the, in the new found democracy trends that we are, are unimaginable if, if the new found democracy is supposed to be a reality. And then they said dictators are not born, they are made. And we've seen the trajectory, the way it is going, if we are not careful, we are creating our own self another dictator. So Gambians should be very careful and mindful of some of these malpractices and ensure that we, our vote is our voice, is our right, is our power. We ensure we select the right people to, to have good representation. And like Almame have said, UDP has set the pace. We've seen how the people we have given you across the country, how they have delivered in, our, in their local councils. Any person who wants to provide another option must come with good alternatives, good ideas, good ideas for development, not to induce us to sell our votes and render ourselves into abject poverty again for another four years. This message must be very, uh, must be spread to all Gambians to understand that the, 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 the vote we sell is our, is our life. And, the, and, and if you oxygenate the, the poverty that comes after 20 years after now, you will be accountable for it. We are all responsible for what, what, what future we beget to our future generation. So it, it starts now. So I, I am alarmed and concerned, and I equally know every Gambian should be alarmed because this is something that's going to undermine the, 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 the development of this country, and we condemn it in the most strongest term. We condemn it in the most strongest term, and you know, if the government thinks they are delivering, this is not the option, they, 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 they should sell themselves in the best manner and abide by the rules and regulations like the UDP and other parties are doing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Sir has an additional clarification. Thereafter, we will have a brief summary in uh, uh, Mandinka and Wolof, uh, and then we can have a Q&A on the uh, upcoming elections. <clears throat> Once again, good afternoon. What I only want to clarify is uh, when I was making my statement, I never made mention the name of the individual who involved himself in this voter buying. His name is Antuman Gom, and he's a member of the NPP Banjul South. Antuman Gom, a member of NPP Banjul South. And he's in Jolof Town. Yes, and he is in Jolof Town Hall. And again, uh, I want to make this thing very clear. When I say this is my first time of facing the media since the inception of the United Democratic Party, that doesn't mean that, well, I have that fear to face you people or not. No. <laughs> UDP is a party that you know they have ethics. Not every individual or every member comes out to face the media. And again, with me, I am an administrator. So this is why when I say this is my first time of facing the media, doesn't mean that I have that fear in me. No. Who knows me knows that I'm somebody whom you know. I am dang dangerous. Very dangerous. I can, I can, I am, I am dangerous more than danger itself. Hmm? And with the UDP, I am as constant also as the Northern Star. 
So take that from me. Thank you very much. Um, ladies and gentlemen of the media, I think you have heard uh, sufficiently from our side. Uh, we did this deliberately so that we can give you uh, an apparatus of the kind of leadership that has been nurtured within the UDP. Uh, often you would see me and the party leader making these uh, press conferences. Uh, it's because of the structure of the party, but you can hear from their articulation, uh, you can hear from their sense of purpose, you can hear from their own sense of respect, not only for Gambian citizens, but for so civil society, uh, for our political opponents. Because what we try to do is to focus on the issues. Uh, Honorable Baji spoke about it. The ideas for transforming this country, we are proud to say UDP has been contributing them, whether it's in the jurisprudence, where all these issues, when they come to a conclusion, will end up. Uh, you saw last elections, uh, the 2021 presidential elections. We uh, put up a petition. We had our colleague uh, Mama Kande repeating it, that the petition was not heard. But we don't want to act post facto. If after the event or after the fact, we start acting. We are giving notice to Gambians that now is the time to engage in progressive politics that can actually change the lives of Gambians. Gambians are tired of these uh, games and shenanigans that political parties and political leaders have been playing. So before, before I end this, uh, our, our side of the presentation, I have a very brief quote from uh, a lawyer, Usain Udabo, that I want to share with you. Uh, he made this statement around the Easter time. Um, and it reads thus, uh, the struggle to make a better life for our people uh, it's not about us. It's about the next generation. I implore us to always practice honesty, integrity, and consistency in word and action. We must say what we mean and mean what we say. That is how we can legitimately expect the same values from them. Let's stand for what is right for the betterment of the future generations. Thank you very much. Mbolo, uh, Milimadon Warek, Si Olof, Chi Angele, Mabuga Kotenka, Chi Lugatarek, Chi Olof, Aklifi Gai Yepua, Moene Tede Nyo Purwaha Askanvi, One Len Nelen Election, Local Government Election, Samdila, Sun Kansolo Sidney Len Tana, Wai Gisneng. Si jamano ji jamano ji si desni ai teha teha yo hamne dal jahal na gambiansi nun dega nain onarebul fatumata njai tuma sabanjul sau ne gisna lo hamne njublangla gisna lo hamne anuta kluwa electioni gambia betah na dem na chi polisi nun kose ndokale diko jere jaje fal ndax domi rew bu ba so gise lo xamne andu tak luay rew mi war nga se muna jox taxaw wax ci wax ci sa soxla ñaarel bi honorable tombong waxna ne gay ci siarar ci salum bi deputy speaker bi ak bena alkalo ak ak governor bi dem nañ ci keer ne suñ kandi ak chef bi dem nañ ci keer ñu ne suñu candidate bi fa bu taxaw dafa wara bayyi bum taxaw mom candidate bi nak bañ na mu ne mom dafa taxaw ci local government election bi so gis nañ ay njublang yu bari yuy do bena bi suñu bena candidate bi tamit ci chairman dafa withdraw loi bi joxona ñu nak doole pour ñu delo fa benen candidate wa ñu dem ci ic suñu parti bi bind nañ petition appeal nañ pour ñu jox ñu kuñ ka am nañ kuñ fa mëna délo waye ayc fum nek ñu né fofu constituency bi is no oppose eh ward bi is no oppose so yi yep dañ bëggon rek pour ñu wax ko taskati xibaari ñu xamé ko né 
UDP, ça y est, il y a un peu de temps. 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 Il y a un peu de il y a des gens qui ont été élevés à Askan Bitana, comme l'honorable Yaya Menteng Sanyang, comme l'honorable Baji, et qui ont été candidats pour le chairman de Sibbi, qui ont été, Inch'Allah, Yankouba Dabo. Pour nous, nous avons dit que nous avons vu l'affaire et la politique qui a été fait. Nous avons dit que nous avons fait une presse conférence, et nous avons dit que nous avons fait une presse. Mais il faut que les gens de l'UDP soient à Hawaï et à leur travail. Ils veulent qu'ils soient à leur travail et qu'ils soient à leur travail. Ils veulent que les gens soient à leur travail. Ils veulent que les gens soient à leur travail. C'est ce qui est le député de l'UDP. Il est en train de se faire. Moutsar est venu à leur travail. Ils veulent qu'ils soient à leur travail. Donc, dans ce cas, ce qui est le plus important pour les gens, c'est de leur travail. Pour ce qui est le plus Li anda gion nyu nyu tasareko wanko gambiansi. Samedi la election bi nyuge ni an gambiansi ne li goko hani nda wine kichi gambi yep election sit na fahewo. So so lenta ne nyinga hamne muna ni lene legal nda nyunso nda wii wana ni lene muna def. Ba na rek sinyo tana nji ona rebul baji wana ko gata na ko hamne dina la legal nda legal rek moyo buri uchi kanam. Dina jo suma harit ya menteng mutenga kochi kala masose linfi linfi jota watan ona busanya. Nal kundo kurebe alto nal kundo la na na deputy party leader na kundo baki yalom funding kwa nali yame na yuko ali energy suto nyuli. Nak alfa nene nene, ni le energi le siaran untuk le energi. Biru malang alma me malang tu ni yang kuat dah umen betul very best mendingkas speaker tu. Baru umen na umen na kata kuat kebal. Ko alma me aku nyamen ngan press conference command le. Ka itan di Gambia nolla, aning Gambia nol silalu, aning Gambia kata failalu. NPP nyimpati sonjau, nyimpati kurungo. Ni mpati yome alonko gambi le nyato ta imantara woto Bari tulbe ifang nyato ntande nyami ibe olto Biri ya diskova ko gambi eno liye kodi lale Gambi eno liye to le interest soto kodake Ya jeko nyi local government election bank kanadu nga kwa kansulio ni meyo lu Mbe bute le ye bute yome alonko abe jawi ala Sai sita kwe kaka nyami ndo yuko mbemine kele gambi eno la sai Bari biri ye fuari ya na du molkang Iko kwa lengo na kodo dila, lengo kodo dila dron mbele karte wa shoto. Hundre bulu tu manja na rake moji, me alonko a vigilante ala konsistensi kwa fu anata ni mul muda ibe karte sangu la ge, ai samba police, bidu kumbi police wala tulimbali ya UDP la, police wala tulimbali ya Gambia la, imana action taje, iko dron wolio wolio remove, wolio wolio murindi mara wakani. Bila ni ntar polis wala polis wala ni ntar mengkala drong, ya mari muda ya detain, ya ya body confine, ina beta fu ala bungkono, ah yenyu yenyu bundi ya, because ndol malong, ai karte ke ke karte kart sabat dol ne bundi, bor karte gila bo bulu, anu the 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 extent of the scheme, fu atas dol ne bahkan mafari modul le bahkan, polis wala ni ntar investigation wala yele ni iya long, ni ni ntar mina kama, di mana ya bulu ala. Moja le baakang atabeni bengang ani yeye moja le voters karta polisi wanyani tani ni establish la yuo for Gambia na yuo for Gambia kati ya falial bar Gambia polisi wale mbe 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 yamar la mbe wana kwa ndolte na energy ni na ferro ni na pati ya la structure du na kuku no itoa kafu ya tulu na wala ndolte accept la moja at all ndolte mnyo banko dingo leti ajira polisi wale mnyo Gambia dingo leti so isa kila kubake ni nga kudi la mea nangu kwenye nda ya investigate Ibu kaa investigate for UDP Kaa investigate for Gambia bele kewo So polisi wa shaha kiltu wato Ado Gambia nangu flanko diya mwela liya foje nyame Ato news, ato kibaru janjani nalu Ani civil society organization Mwela nyantol kele Anyemu mtolebe la kele 
Nous avons fait des choses actuellement That is why they have released millions. They have, they have, the, the, the candidate who, the, 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 e que ele não cunha onde ele não corre corre o homem não cai mas só o senhor quando é que as pessoas é que a dia toda então o momento de jambe para provas além de não mol call encana encana na minha to sang o mundo é bem a responsabilidade de sala quando a família me embora de horror bula da bola até lá I'm sure he's a better speaker than I am than I can say afu 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 Mbadengolo, lamurina lo aning man man anim mandeka kamwe la lo. Lafta ming kafula honorable yaya ming aje kumi nyumu somari ni mimi fota jam kafuni mandeka kamola. Kumi yafu ni aming electiono lo bekeri, ane electiono dunga te kumma ata baake bayri mmole tamu ni kama ni alonko wole nyanta marla na fangola ane na nyato ta. So mulu wakumma tabaki, bari lua imin sarati ndo wale mnyi electiono ni nta tama la nini tili ngola, mumu ila hakumu mendi ya dila, bari ng'ang minge mimbe kering wale mnyi ndoko, president baro anala MPP, ibe mene tama ndo wale mnyi ndo lebe sembola, sembo bento lebe bulu, mendi ya tanya mbola kela, ando independent electoral commission, mnyi alungo aliumu mwenye ila nyato kaya. Lua esembo dito lele puri dito lugo tilingo pati yol tema iye wote tilingo tamandi ngejele dito lfana mampareka wote tilingo ni tamandi lafta mimfu la Gambia no leko mimi mimfu ya wale mnyo duko ni manke opposition party kile na keloti amanke mo kile na keloti mbele la kelo mnyo ndi andu kelo ni yangu kwenye nyaming aliumu mmoongeaji amambo na malai kundeng alama jindi na IGP of police malai kundeng alama jindi na. Alla molemu, alla badi molemu. Sama sinin, ni mulba konte bola abato le afekla, ni kudo ke rato le beta borla le tani na. Wo namna alfa la je, wole mnyuntu ko, ni telefono bena tema kumande, ya fa moro tilingo tamande, ining alla tema. Sama ni fata, mule beta re ni mbango kama minu beche real, wole bena le afoko ni nyonge ba jengkere momenti ya na electiono kete ya na asu nyambulu. Dengi lolo bela kani about him, so ni badi mati ni wobe dimi la sama. Wato wuli biye tonya wule mo fa aliu mama nja ye ya fa eko tilingo tama ndi banko kang. The same thing with the IGP of police. Bayri nyungu bebe tama kang. Police ol la nyato nko la nim police ol lo la wanyata shene ala. Police ol man jina santo iman ke malaikati. Ala me bonde nan blado de al ba dungo leti bota korda lekono. Ikata doko leka seina korda lekono. Iye kalo leke ala ining ala teme kwe be tilingo leka. Yomal kiyama nali eje tala jahanna mata diala liye. Al dia muye saing aliyafue ko doku oike jo salary mina manjarala al tilingo tamande al tonya tamande ngaje la mingi kita model badungo la jang kabiri na ata TRRC bela cool fole kuria la mingi kwa mola njema bangoka akuiate badungo dole wona mne falaje mo bela kelo lomu ala kelo lomu al bea dati kadia mo al badungo la mimi alam police lomu aliyafue tonya tamande ni badungo kabe aisi afai vote of ni mole ya karteo mimfai aya make so wole karteo ya konti ai tilimbali ya bula tajente ya bewola anu niite ma dati ite ma fai iba mo ila mola biko ntol tende ila kuwa la mba falale anu mengu membe ntol la pati yoto opposition ntol ba falale anda lo kontinela sidi njai 
demba sabali ani ñi moolu ko minu tofu antoni antoni gom minu be be bañun antumana gom minu be bañun i manke malaikati alame jindinan blatu al badungul leti alamul leti i be minna ani silo manta i be minne be tilimbal yalla be minne be tajinte yalla mool la ñantoy bolu tiña kan al tali diamu yi andal se diamu no yele lungo lung al diamu ye sign nal man diamu ye sign asama toku ya wotal karla de iko man den kol ko bunna jani la ranna jani ba ka daba karal ku ko kanem annu mol ye minke mol la wolta o bayla ka wosat wole keta nu previous government bi ni mol diam da ba ka diamu do le bari nyantalo na wole keta nu annu nga kete tol be jang iman sunna diam le badungol ye ya feye stilo tamanda nyanta tamala nyami al kel la muyti al dingol la muyti al barnungol la muyti al barne muyti al fal la muyti al mama nyol leti al tonya wulam feye jang nal ma lafi mole tonya feye banta minta dialali andung wonyanta kala la keloliti wonyanta kala mobe la keloliti nga wolof journaliste ole election o kumata banko la nyado da kumata kaf molu lafta minna al wobula e tambi nakaro man beta ku kono akap ni akelat dialé imagne na sonné ka ka modo le ka foko because udp lam wara ñi si carlé wara ñi mo carlé wolé atina itata fem fala no je no nakaro ya je dawda kumo bay alkal mu muslimo le dal bet sunkan ne sunkaro kono alla mol be kool ke ka al wulim be nga ñi kelo damuta opposition on ñu nga dadale se min no mbole ke ka wolum ñi ndi min be be keri nga futandal la journaliste wol ya futandal la ni futatal la sañ atol mi mu badi ngol da atol mi mu ni be sukil ngal ni be al kuke ñol muyte ala da dalé toña foye ni ma danko ala al atol ndel ba si ngo kundal ni tema biko mo kur ngol leti mo jenkere ngol le muyti andi manke til mo tilen ni wolti ndum ibe na hakol le domo kan no ni fata almamo almamo da min salté koma e koy be kuma be do volé ibe fani ala fola wo dal nga kata nga kuma sobe fo ñum moli ya moy almamo li ya foy la mimbaro to banko be we all have to be advocates mo be le ñanta kala civic advocates de ñen ko ñum banko la démocratie ta ñaato no nimma démocratie so do yalo ne fali ko ko ñaami wolen kelot no nga fo le kelo ma betea amam mo samba nyato mi e mol samba wolen démocratie ba démocratie kata nin tilngolo ko do abu ka keno jenko ko do wo dal nga tilngo tamandi bar wo tilngo ñing mo be la hakko le budget mo be la hakko tamandi wo tilngo ñing ko do okay observe that the president have given 300,000 to each candidate and the candidates nominated are 99 candidates if we multiply 300,000 by 98 candidates the total amount is, is going to be 29 million 700 dollars that's too much that's too much 29 million 700 dollars that's too much 700,000 I repeat 29 million dollars 700,000 where are we heading to where where are we heading to where are we heading to where are we heading to as Gambians it's very sad thank very you sad. thank you very much uh, deputy party leader uh, thank you very much uh, my colleagues in the executive and honorable uh, Sanyang and Baji I see Mr. Baji has other business and has to go. But now it is over to you, ladies and gentlemen, and the press. You can ask your question in any of our languages. Uh, you can, of course, ask in English as well. Um, thank you very much. I recognize the young lady. Uh, please identify yourself and uh, ask your question. Um, good afternoon. I am
Mr. Sad will answer specific IEC questions, but I think um, uh, your question deserves at least two responses. Uh, the management and regulation of elections is entirely demanded of the IEC. However, the law enforcement of the Gambia is the responsibility of the uh, IGP. When two civilians have a disagreement or they have issues, their first port of call obviously is the IGP's office. The IGP also has, under its authority, uh, commissions. I understand there is a commissioner attached to the IEC to make sure that uh, we don't have unnecessary tension or uh, uh, violent disagreements. Uh, so just to clarify that, that regulation and management of elections is the responsibility of the IEC. But today we have seen a headline that is very worrying. The chairman of the IEC, uh, who is in his 80s, uh, talking to the media, saying that he made a mistake about the time his uh, contract of employment <laughs> is going to expire. Now, we have been saying this since uh, 2020, that the transparent working of the IEC as an institution is something that all Gambians have a vested interest in. Uh, we have questioned the validity of the voter role. We went to court for, for all of these things. I'm saying this today to make it absolutely clear that for the rule of law to prevail in all our dealings, the laws themselves must be just and equitable. People must be able to confirm that, yes, this is the term of employment of the chairman of the IEC. And the Constitution is very clear is unequivocal about that. And I don't think any Gambian is in, uh, is in uh, denial of the fact that the, 19, uh, the 2026, uh, 2016 election was conducted under the chairmanship of the IEC, uh, of, of, of Mr. Alaji, Alaji, Alaji Mohamed Njai. So if at all his uh, mandate was renewed in 2017, it was going to be for the last time. And 2017 to date, is seven years, which is all in the Constitution. So really, at the end of the day, the rule of law should mean something for all Gambians. But um, uh, I just want uh, the media, particularly, we have been uh, exhorting you to do your, your own findings, to determine uh, for yourself what the laws are, because uh, we don't want you to have this partisan taint. Uh, my learned friend, uh, Honorable Sanyang, and my learned friend, uh, Yanku Badabo, we are all familiar with the language of law. It's very clear, it's very straightforward. But when uh, uh, other things are involved, people start becoming uh, uh, constitutional interpreters, and you, know, you will have long, long analysis. But uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are very uh, encouraged by the input of a lot of civil society, because I can name uh, Pasamba Jao, coach, uh, coming yesterday on uh, uh, okay. coffee time with uh, Peter to explain his own uh, take on this issue. So the more we, we can be enlightened about uh, the responsibilities and the mandates of all our institutions, the better it is for Gambians, because these institutions are created to actually solve the problems that emerge. Uh, hopefully, the next local government election will coincide with parliamentary election in 2027, uh, because our uh, local government leaders went to court to insist that the uh, laws of this country are applied. So this is just to explain that when you have a government that respects the rule of law, the rule of law will prevail in every aspect of our lives. But on, specifically on this IEC issue, uh, our, our delegate to the IEC, our permanent representative to the IEC, is uh, Alaji Mozar, and uh, he may want to uh, respond specifically <laughs> to that.
Thank you very much, Mr. Pan, and thank you very much, uh, Lily. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, I'll come directly to your question. First and foremost, this matter was reported to the police. This is why when I stepped in, I went directly to the police. From the police, I went to the IEC regional office because this is local government elections. Whenever you, there is any incident or occurrence of such a na nature, well, you report the matter verbally first and foremost to the regional office. This I did. But notwithstanding, we are still waiting for the report of the police or the development that the police took as far as this matter is concerned. After hearing from the police, whether it's going to be positive or negative, is there and then where we will take it up with the regional office of the IEC officially to further it to the election house. That is the main regional office of the IEC. Thank you very much. Pardon? Has this been reported to the IEC? No. Yeah, this is what I told you. I say it's been reported to the regional office. The follow-up question to that is, as a UDP party, do you still have hope with our current IEC system? <laughs> well, confidence. Confidence, definitely with me. Current, with the current issues, I mean, prevailing now, definitely we have no confidence with the IEC. We have no confidence. With the current issues going on, definitely, we have no confidence in the IEC to conduct this, conducting these elections. Thank you. Uh, yes, madam. Okay, Baraka Bake, when you're in Carola. I think I'm answering the Maninga specific, then I will pass it. So, Baraka Bake, when you're in Carola. Al Kaloli, Yalong 2016, Barofon Kumbota Janako, Al Kalulu, Ning Sefoli, Dabon the Political. And the Nyande Dabon la political. So, Nito Fong Sai, a governor use, and then say follow, and then local government minister, Alcalo Kuman, we go in Yimidon Farabal. Ya Alcalo Yaka Olders, Bagar Sanya in Akorda. So, Alcalo Minubebe Utundo, the Gombo is, Kane Fenange, Womu Kulet Mi Alonko, Na Baile, and number two, Na Minke, the first thing we did, Na report le to the IEC. But, I see the West Coast uh, man on yung minna number be candidate rule bull, the council on yung bull, Kabri Akumandi, Akufu, we have any evidence of it. So Namul Tata around, they took video and then they took pictures. Kabri, you will be able to picture the video talk and drunk, minister ning uh, and then governor. Namre, I'm going close world to in him borrow tata ning minister ning fengko tata ning koma shilo lo fangle koma shilo lo ta local government is abasa nyang honorable abasa nyang nebija ning governor usman boja ito lebe nung mitu ngonyo ndo so ito lo tata ning koma shilo lo fangle man nani nyaro shilo la we don't know for whatever reason but uh it tata ning koma shilo la nung IEC we must commend them on that occasion because in other minke ila mul nata nale they send a team Minu nata na kana jibe fonyo nube mene ulo, but jani ito luka arrive wea tara nyonu tata, and we gave them our evidence. And the mimi fo wole mnyendo go, ito lufo ngo they did their own fact finding jani kafuta, and then they confirmed ko that that meeting actually took place there on that day. So just what I was saying in English, 
uh, what I was saying in Mandenka, I just want to translate it into English for the benefit of those that are not able to speak Mandenka. So the question was, uh, what steps had UDP taken or what step could we have taken or would we take if such an inch situation happened? So we're talking about an issue here that which happened at Faraba where the governor, the, the governor of West Coast, Usman Bojang, together with the Minister of Local Governments and Lands, Honorable Abbasanyang, convened a meeting at the residence of the Komboi's district chief, uh, Sefo Bakar Sanyang's compound, in the Komboi's region of West Coast, where they convened a meeting of all the Alcalos in the region. And at that meeting, they were more or less compelling the, uh, the Alcalos, forcing them literally, trying to force them in order for those Alcalos to prevail on their citizens of their villages, of their very various villages, to vote for MPP uh, nominated candidates. That is unfair, one, because the Alcalos and the Seifos are not supposed to be partisan. This is something which President Barrow himself complained about during the 2016 elections. He reiterated it, I believe, in 2017 when we were doing the Meet the People's Tour. He says, Alcalos and the Seifos need to abstain or eschew themselves from politics because they are supposed to be neutral. Now, if he himself or his minister is now leading such, encouraging such, that is a concern that which, first, we need to expose. Second, every Gambian needs to be up uh, upset about it, and we all need to raise or protest against it because that shouldn't happen in this country. And it is, if it is happening in West Coast, in Combo, I can only imagine that it is happening everywhere. As it happened in uh, 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 Nyani, Nyani, where our candidate was convinced or more or less influenced to uh, withdraw his candidature, we are talking about the deputy speaker. National Assembly of this country. Yes. What, the, what the deputy speaker and the speaker are supposed to be non-partisan. The moment you are appointed at those posts, you are supposed to throw throw your 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 whatever uh, political hat somewhere far away from any political scene. But that is not what is happening. And they engage in on that occasion. You had again a SAFO was involved, and then a governor was involved. So every one of these state or executive or members in authority are actively engaging politics in favor of the MPP. That is something that which undermines the fairness of our electoral process. Anybody who claims that one can attain a free and a fair, it might be free, but it cannot be classed as fair elections under such a climate where every... Uh, uh, executive, every member of the executive is actively engaging in support of the incumbent. That is just not fair at all. And that's what we are saying. And the steps we've, we've taken in the combo is one. We reported it to the IEC regional um, returning officer. And then they told us that they were going to take action. And they, they, they've asked us to gather evidence, which we did. But they also sent some of their own agents to come and verify the facts. When they came, they confirmed to us that they did their own verifications and were satisfied that, meet, that meeting which we allege indeed took place and we also provided them with that evidence. What they're going to do, we don't know. But this, as uh, Al-Mame said, they, it is their duty. It is under their purview for them to manage and regulate election affairs in this country. And that is one reason why, as Mozart said, we lack the confidence in them to hold a fair election because we want them to be a lot more proactive than this. They needed to be on the ground. They need to make sure any allegation that is made, they themselves are with the police. That's why we have police commissioner attached to the IEC. IEC is supposed to be leading in this thing. But where is the IEC? That is the question everybody is asking. They are never there. We, they are always on call. You have to call them to come and do something. They are supposed to be having people on the ground everywhere to make sure 
their credibility is boosted because they've lost a lot of ground on that. And I don't think they're, do they're doing a, a, a good job at g regaining that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, no, I, I just want to react to your, 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 your first question. Yeah. That is, what is UDP doing to stop the uh, voter inducement? Uh, if you have been paying attention to all the design, uh, details and explanations since the beginning of this press conference, number one, we said we want to stop it. That is why we call the press conference today to expose it to Gambians what is happening. Number two, uh, he said he went to the uh, police and reported the matter. We are not going to encourage our, our, our supporters to, to fight, to go into physical confrontation with anybody. Uh, we are not going to do that. So this is what we can do. First, we call you people to expose it. We also encourage the civil society organization to, to, to expose it. Our uh, uh, election guy said he went to report the matter to the police, even, I think even to the region uh, IEC yeah, office. Yeah, yeah. So that this is what we can do. And we also told you people, we, uh, every Gambian, it's a business of every Gambian, not only UDP. So the question of what is UDP doing should have been, what is Gambian, what will Gambian do to stop this? This will, and also we have encouraged our 400 to 500,000 voters around the country to be vigilant, but not to fight, to be vigilant, to see what is happening around their neighborhood, but not to go into physical conf confrontation with anybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm. <laughs> So ame gana go hamne yangi am e, fox bo hamne munchi gana ukirbi. Fogna ne denga nje kaset na kanga soe gana bi mune kachikiri na soga nyo na ki afere fox ne. So li mo linga hamne mochi ne ka mota interparty bi nyo wangu nchilo. Dina nchi nyo na ndi ke ninko wa he li he umoi e defa am jamando yo hamne defa am lutahon UDP. New York send njit yep kaso. Jamano bubu meeting na torop telo la njon hair. Mom la linyo wachi angale. We are still singing the same song that was sung yesterday. Bena we birek la njow we belegi. Kunbo we bubu lihe uni boka nchi. Interparty bina dina njen engage. Wa shinde me be exhaust linga hamne chila neka. Bubu na dina njobu afergi tedal kochi interparty bi. We are fortunate enough, ne? Deputy Party Leader, member Interparty Villa, Degana Sa question. Mantami, I am a member, but Degana Sa question. Notwithstanding, Matavidina Egachi Interparty Villa. Why not Nanjaka deal with the situation? Because I'm going to deal with the police. Sunjoga police, you deny them IEC. Be less assault. We leave no stone unturned. Well, Mom Lawa, she is to be Lawa. Well, Lingawa, Dega, and Yambaranga, like the Cadby. 
ñun ko bëgg won ne ko ñun UDP du ñoo kébétu dañoo wax mu leer dëgal la hein so ñun so gisé té ñu défé press conference bi ni ndax am minon nañ di guéné ay statement di dem court waye féka li xew xew na ba paré am nga lolu nak su féké né xew na ci dika da nga gis né nit ñu bari gis lo li nga laajté lan moy jëriñi interparty mu nga laajté sax lan moy jëriñi press conference li moy waxtani rek jaama parce que UDP lolu lañ xam ñun li ñoo wax ñu ne na rew mi bolo nek ak bena ñun ñoo bokande ak bay so da wax waxtu wax mo jot so lolu tax ñu ote waxtan bi waye nak pour lela bala député parti speaker bi di ñew ñun di ñoo kébet ha jëf jëf al mamital lima wax moy interparty bi amna ñeriñ ci rew mi parce que interparty bi parti yi nga xamne da au register bi ic ñoo sa bokka interparty amna incident yu bare yo xamne dañ ko solve ba nga xamne jaal def ci jamma amna ben at mun ma fatale ko at bi gdc mo sa sante bi correct gdc ñu amon problème ak npp bi legui gdc dafa am puñu identify na dañ fa def rally legui police inspecteur general police job yel nako yalla yerem wonene fofa gdc duñ fa am mitit gdc wax ba tay ñu duñ fa am mitit ñu form delegation ay led that delegation ñu dem ci mamou job waxamo ne ko comme ko npp dañ fa amo mitit you are all led npp dañ fa amo mitit ce area boba jimara jimara bakadadi legi npp amnañ fa meeting police di grand len pamit ñu am meeting fofu am parallel legi jidi ci bu ko dem di sem erreur pour meeting di sem police ay len ko ñu nako lu tax nga def lolu ñu interparty bi dañ bu ko intervenir gis ne jidi ci nañ fa am meeting waye mamu jobon nu ne fofu npp duñ fa amati meeting te kenn du fa amati meeting ñu na haañu na waaw ñu da ko ci lolu te place ben te kenn amatu fa meeting bon ay pc ñu ngi liggéey incident yi sey xew di def de baré ñu di ko dox te kenn du ko yek parce que sun intervenut rew mi dafa taaka ay ci suñ fa démé am ñu pati kola suñ fa démé man ne ko mo udp although udp la represent ma moussa wa kenen nek fa jidi ci kenen nek fa npp dañu gis gambia ñu gis cos as gambia li jaxal gambe in politics ni sotal ko te ken duko yek amna yo xamne doko def ba pare dem ci midi bi duko yek le amun jeri waye ipc ñu ngi liggé liñ wara liggé te duñ tay duñ xadi amna yu sey yo xamne de len ko yek parce que committee bo xamne ay kilifa fa neka parti yi doy lo len taaj len fa duñ dem lu tuti luñ def rek la ko dem ci midi bi amun jeri way togun ci ben problème paté su féké né amna ben incident sa wéru ko ru nek ni di élection fona last national sem élection fi la ñu mo xé ci daabo ñu ko 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 khalifa sala ñu wa atéré wéru ko bi ak amu ñaasi way dañu won né loi bi dafa méyé né période bi sen waram élection elas wel ko ñu wax ni ñu ñoko ñeka daxalu waye nak loi be taxaw ñu ñu ko daxa ipc li ñu liggé bari na ci gata rek té so len dégué dara lo xamné rok na ci lañ ko tour de ayc gën xamné ka lañu doxalé jëré len jëf commanda tontu na ko mr tata baral ma tuti ay jay question fofu sa dama fa dégudon bu ba li mr tata wax légui ni kébétu bi udp du ñoo kébétu dé lolu mun na la ko asso tay rew mi fim tollu ni gannaaw yalla tay united democratic party la te kebetu wu dañ woné suñ doole dega suñ xam xam suñ mun mun suñ pass pass ak suñ ngor mo indi rew mi fim nekk ni tay 
ci liñ ngeen yi tay dama la assoné affaire yi jenda carte bi ni ak affaire yi ñaani jabi duñ ko jël very lightly adi lewul of the united democratic party la la wax nak duñ ko jël very lightly because dafa 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 very hard ni ni mu hewé ak niñ ko défé so deglo ki lim read liñ mënu ta understand moy candidate bi reject tuñ ko if the candidate was rejected the timeline bi exhaust nañ ko boba mënu ñu am ben replacement candidate bi dañ ko nominate already by a political party under the banner of the political party mu dem up to the 11th hour fogna ne 2 hours before time frame be exhaust mu withdraw automatically section 51 is categorically clear amut ben fen boko ci ben lo lo house boko yobu ñu danel ko de dit amut dañ def lu len neex te li mo fi dan xew demba barka demba te li mota ñu ne adama baro dafa wa dafa wara deglu nit ñi te ci kaw li lañ jele adama baro indi ko fim nekka ni tay kon bok man lima la wax udp mu suñu kebetu te duñ mu so kebetu jerejeuf waaw pour tontu rek sa la te la te bu ñeuk bi euh ñi nga xamne withdraw nañ euh wax deug yaalla duma ne yakar bu tass la waye Uh, better than you. Dah, binyo ut plus bi. The new one on ne nyom ni new degulain. Ni new am gorlain ni new am jomlain. Te te du nyom kena rek nyom apply. Nyun suin kanselo yep ya la def no new bari bugo ne nyom neka candidate UDP. Te den amon uh, ay mandarga yun hame on chi candidate. Uh, yankuba dabo loya yankuba dabo mi nga gis ni ñom sen chairman sib bi boka ne ci chairman sib bi nga xamne euh dafa melni gambe yep ko bugo amna ñu joge bitim rew amna ño xamne baye nañ sen liggey ñu bari bugo na ño nek bindu pour nek suñ candidat way criteria biñ def ba pare ñu def suñ election ñun suñ bir selection committee bi mota candidate buñ tana dañ dé am yakar ci yow bu baaxa baax parce que parti bi ci bopam dafa am démocratie ci bir parti bi parti leader bi dafa tok député parti leader bi dafa tok suba be ngone di set sen keyti di set sen mun mun sen ham ham ak sen jaar jaar way ñoñu su féké né nak tay withdraw nañ euh wax dëgg yalla jarut sax pour ñu tok né dañoo waxtaan ak ñoo wala dañoo bam tu wat yene yi ndax election dina ñu wat euh te ñun suñ li ñu wax rek mamoun li mamoun la defal ñu gis ñun ñu ngi def fok nañ ne gambien ci legi gom nañ ñu gis nañ suñ mayor zi banjul ak kanifing nit ñoo xamne bokku ñoo ñun pati ñu ngi jog di ñaxtu di di express solidarity di bokka ci euh jongante bi gis nañ ko ci ku melni nene frida euh gomes ñona mu ngi mu ngi taxaw mayo talib ahmed ben souda mc cham gis nañ euh 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 honorable touma ndiaye euh mu ngi taxaw mu ngi taxaw rohi malik lo ak kansulo sami euh ci banjul so ñun li ñoo wax moy ne politics bi fi udp di def ak niñ de tané suñ euh député niño tané suñ euh euh council aussi niño tané suñ chiameni yépp dafa jaar ak yoon suñ constitution bi def ñu jox yoon yo xamné kuñ tané rek xamal né koku euh mudna tané so démé nak be nga gis lénen nga né da nga génné ci lolu ci 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 jamma ak salam ah dañ la baye nga dem rek amut amut wax ni amut wax na lé fogna démocratie mo mel nonu suñ président mu ñëk bi lolu la mu né so defu dara dara du la dal ci démocratie ni mang kuké kouté la lolu la sadaw da jangalé fogna mour sar ak député parti leader bi tontu nañ yenen laaj té yi wa petition biñ binda wa petition biñ binda ñun liñ ci liñ ci janga moy né 
ay ci dañ wax né euh euh Lufin bi candidate bi is is going on oppose euh mu woné na né ñun petition biñ binda sétuñ ko euh wéruwuñ ci loi dafuñ liñ wara def euh amna ko fi laaj té mu né ndax am nañ confidence ay ci am nga doxali ni soko défé fok rek nit ñi laaj té té confidence nak mom yo dang ko wara dang ko wara elo du no xamné da nga hé suba rek né waaw nit ñi am nañ confidence man sa liggéey moko woné joxou ñu ben officiel reply tontu ñu ci ben bor way ñom def nañ seen announcement ci 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 wala bobu wa ñun liñu def yoy yep luñu waxtan la balañ jo balañ ko def executive bi dinañ dinañ wara tok waxtan ñu set yoon yi nga xamne mom lañ am jël jël yoon yoy nonu luñu def rek dañ ko tek ci yoon dañ ko tek ci loi wa lo 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 la lo la ay ci wa lo la ay ci wa yes sir yes um tonu elections are a process uh, like we said earlier the management of elections and the regulation of elections is the mandate is a constitutional mandate of the IEC um, I think honorable uh, Yankuba Dabo has said it earlier the important thing is for the IEC to live up to its true mandate mm -hmm. by being involved by engaging communities um, I think Honorable Sanyang also made that mention that civil society, particularly, and the media, and the ordinary citizen must wake up to their responsibility in safeguarding our democratic gains. We cannot build a democratic republic in the absence of the laws that govern all of us. If anybody is found infringing or violating the basic laws of this land, it's the responsibility of every citizen, regardless of party affiliation, to stand up to that person. But I said earlier that the IEC, the IGP, these are the principal actors to ensure that there is uh, peace. Now, what UDP is doing is like this engagement, like similar engagements that Honorable Tumanjai has uh, undertaken, like the uh, complaint that Mozart has made. We want the media to amplify these voices Absolutely. and to take this evidence to town. But the, the conduct of the IEC over the years has been uh, very lackadaisical. You go there, I remember during the presidential election, we had a team led by the deputy party leader. We went there to uh, uh, produce and uh, share evidence with the deputy chairman of the IEC. So, at the end of the day, I think you in the media must take to task all our institutions, all our political parties, all our political leaders. Uh, I, I heard somebody talking about the inter-party. I think the inter-party should be strengthened beyond what it is now. It should be put on a national footing 
And I'm, I will urge my brother, uh, the member of the National Assembly for Larikunda, to introduce a private member's bill in parliament to strengthen uh, the inter-party uh, as a statutory uh, corporation or a statutory body. Because these are important institutions to ensure our democracy is functioning effectively. Because without that, all of the efforts are going to be on a volunteer basis. And we are also going to be at the mercy of, uh, what is it called, the, our international community. But for local government elections, where are, the, where are the citizens? In every locality you go to, people have issues. They have challenges. And it is only our local leaders, from the National Assembly member uh, to the uh, councillor. These are the people who can actually solve problems. And we have demonstrated over the last five years how capable our leaders are, both in the, in the National Assembly as well as in local government. So what we are doing is constantly uh, looking at uh, the state of affairs and reflecting on all the issues that can make this country more united, make this country more prosperous. Kamara Bako. Je <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, democracy is not a democracy. Because it is not a united democratic party. It is killing, a killing, it is not a democracy. It is not a democracy. It is not a a voilà, loi est bundal minu yele. Gambien ou lié faham, Gambien ou fana yeta yele jiko landi volcan. Parce que ni UDP ya fo, GDC ya fo, NRP ya fo, PDOIS ya fo, isa fo no ko politiko lem. Bari ning kamaraba ya fo, voilà, muskeba mimbe marseoto aya fo, et mamira. Il politique Democracy dung a a diamole kasiya bari ikafonya me maniga kanto mini mini tapal tapal tonya le bela banna UDP mete nyin kelo la le a isangi mo ni lulu kelo le ke anata ya ije me bondi jang mo lumi nu fanambe pati dolto e jama ye ye la ye la pati o ye la politiko karan UDP le asike karan dirole man senyanu wala karan dirole man 
fura nyanta fura la dame bari ntolka mimfo wati yo wati wolemu nanga luwal bunya nanga kata luwal mi be larim banko kan yeke luwa sahari ngolti yeke luwa betolti paski ni ma ni luwa beto soto abunya bu ka koleya aka tonya le sabanindi aka nyato tale fanan na fi banko kan na funding ke nyato ngolu wala mu ka fumi e the next generation of leaders kabo banjun kata fo basse nga jele ila nyaton kaya ya place of fale e natake alfalti ibe dokole jamae suto ni ntilo e na bota woto tata deputy bungoto lungo lung sanji kili yewole keje ya nyolo anin honorable baji nyolo sanji kili yewole ke deputy yala so Uh, democracy manji kila te soto jede andung mamira usenda bo uh, be baluring uh, amod sane be baluring alaj mod sane be baluring eh, aji yam seka be baluring ntolla ntolla kelo a uh, uh, jawarol bebe si ibe baluring ne andung ibe yamarikan ne pour nga democracy bambandi nga democracy lamoy na nyi nyaton kolu minu be ayisi minu be policiala wol be laftale drong ye hakilo murundi koma ko sanji woro wala komanto sama solo sande wala mala lun labanti duniya kon sanji woro wala komanto wolun nen solo sama la dimbaya labanta kaaje so nimbe eh, politiko fola nimbe democracy fola gambia ntolunga fureo le soto mo le fata pour democracy e balu ay ay balu ku ke gambia So ñi manke kuti mi yalon ko euh bi koulem wala lunkilin koule ndol be democracy le bi be democracy le sama andum ba ke kan ne luwa koto bari ngam min fo wati o wati wo luwal nyanta ngi ko tayandi wo luwal nyanta ngi sa hayandi ni nga oke iba jelale mo be ibe fanjela na ñin democracy to kuma ken so ngol min be ka fo iba jelale ko na fa tela politiko pour banku do ko lem andun si banko do ko nolen tol be parce que do ko mimbe banko ka siatale aman jari be be kumol fola min ya lonka man ke toñati be be banko la molla na flo tala ba murundile kan ka foy ko ha nali ni nali kato foy ni be nin nin ne kela banko la nyato ta akabo molla na mole bala molle ka na mo jo wo nene ro mol nyanta yo bula mo man ente fa man ko di soto mbe mim bondila na poso kono ka di mola andu mo fama uh, kodo soto amon kodi to dunia mi ya lonka si banko la hajo jarano so min ku mayata wolemu na democracy uh, muta na bambandi na na, na nyon noma sakonna alfal min ya lonko e doko woke e fata e eh, ni banko kan pour democracy e balu kotenke udp ala na ka, kana fo bi lungo lum ya maro min ka fo ngam nyomuta kilimba ya kilimo ngana banko samba nyato nga tonya fo nyoye usenda bo yolo fo nyi lunta bila dron ye fengo fengfo ayeke tonyati a koleata nyaonya ibe tonya mi sama ibe 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 tonya mi fasa kan ibe lori wo dron ne kan wo kuma ta bake nyi local government election election kumari mbalem andum be jikirin ne ko nga minu be londi a uh, jamabe kono alabe tambi ndilale parce que mol fanang uh, ya jele ko banko niatare ya di doku lala a uh, o banko katare akata nyatole bar nim banko beta abe, uh, abe kalabante ol bulu e ibe ibina jela mantoro ka sia uh, fengol da be kolearing uh, tamo uh, tamo be kolearing nga moy drong kibarol to ko na fondin ke wol ye muta moroko iba try kan num pour kata ni bakuela so ñinu be mu kulati mi ya lonko electiono drone ne sa jarano wo electiono nak faye democratic ni nimma 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 fansem be democracy la e banko la nyaato ta be kolaya la bake kamara ba I want to add something on to the last question. Two more questions, huh? Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
Je suis un homme qui a été mobilisé sur le haut niveau, le sensitisation from the caring I mean from ma la moy follow but nga mel pati li day fale very good worded statement and strong for that matter kan na pati militant soul be encourage kata kata voting na here also media com press for go election ro kumaya be all follow molie ya election ro kumaya lo ye finti ya ta especially local government elections nga nga incompetence gel at the executive level Central government. So therefore, we cannot allow the same incompetence to drag down to uh, local government administration. That's going to be a disaster for Gambia. So that is why I'm very message for the more. I'm finding a cut of five. I know a main key for the cut of five. I've been to Sunkaro. No, Sunkaro the last day, ten days. So I'm going to look at the Nafilo. I'm going to see you know that he around seven, eight, like Nibot, Jamongo. So obe 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 difficult that one. But first, I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to go to Congo. I'm being a finding at a cut of five. NPP is surviving on politics of insult, uh, politics of misinformation, and politics of tribalism. So, when a Gambian or Ngantang Hakil Dubake, these are the three uh, you know, categories. Me and Uncle NPP be survive Kamala. And exactly, I'm going to be able to be more confident than you, be sure confident than you, Kamala. So, I'm Gambian or be responsible to come over TV, media, and other media houses to expose these uh, dirty politics of NPP. Thank you very much. Sorry. Your name? Yeah. I just. Yeah. I'm back. I'm going to go to the camera. 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 So loi est même faux voto, banco la loi on a loi a a kunya tang lolo ni kile moto, kunya ringo na ni njia moto, ai même faux je wale mjendo ko patio, neng amu patio dajim banco kanga ai mo londi, pra elo ai kai candidate ro de election ro, fa nominate, niwo candidate ro na ata withdraw, patio la nyanto lem, kabulu me na wamari withdraw ta. Kata fu tili waro ula patu yalo nyanto le mpuru niye modo soto minse ise min londi nwa noto yo mari fene ya londi. Amunta wul luwa kome nga asidula tang, tang lulu ni nkile ngu, asidula ringo tang nano to nga dami mfoje. Uwe wole sata ko pati yalo nyanto le mpuru ka woke. So iba yala kabirin nga kandide ro min londi nyani jao, kabirin akaye fonyo le. Ning, because ning luwa esembo di ay nyanto di na patio la puro kamo londe lumme na te fonyo katafu tiri wala wula hapoto kamo do londa noto ngao le ta ngao esembo ning wo nyanto ning ngao le ta ngai exercise data ka modo register memu musa cham te prove se a noto kabirum fata ta IEC itolko itolko wote keno la itol rely ta ming kang wala mu Section 52 to Lua Sidula Tang Lulu Dim Fulanyaud. But in Kamim for Jawalam Yinduko, way mim for a needle form of a minke and will fatter back. By the Woko, way means at a Walam Yinduko. Returning officer, Walam Aisila Kundonko, member Tundoldo. A cunning nomination will be a banda. Now that a Karte fayo ning kabo volume ng nominatul banda kada karte fayo tema tiluwaro wala nyon tutaje warang tilu min tutaje tilol lemu inyanta tili dan dan lemu inyanta kata lale tili follow yon min sorono ya kata kani de rule yon minu be to soro yon be to kangula banko be amoy walua ni tolko yon dola kani de do balu walua ni nala karolo bari yalo ni ni hakilma yon kuo ning Ya kes kes, ibah lu nak ko, nyunuh fom malay kami fom sah. Bayri intol la kandide ro, tata luar esembo minden na walam jendu ko ni ngah kandide do with rota. Ngatil waru la soro le puru ka ojo se, kanyo modo se indo wono. Sa intol dah rangau leke. Ite ka fon toli ko, inte ngah law balil le bayri luar ko, inte nyanta publication oke la, nyanta word mul tau kamkulala le. Nintiru wala ulabik jandeng election otema warang 
tili dadam bi ko be bening election no tem den nda wol to kanko lala say wo ñum flol wala ñoo soto ñoo ñaadi because kanko laro le bete kan woto anum kanko laro lu way mi fa hantel gele na bening election no tem sa kanko ñanta kanko laro kala so bari ka kanko laro ke dam wala ñum mool na te nomination o ke so ni nomination o bo ta do re kanko laro ke so wala mu itol ko wo kanko laro ñing wala itol balikan do la candidate o ñing la nomination o ñing accept so yalla wo mo moyo jibe balo nal ko woning hakilo manta so nomo bu ko tano so nomo to tano la so wala mo kote mi alon ko mbenu wala fo kan to bab kan la je wala keda nyaani ja min keda nyaani ja la kote so comme ya fa nyaami apilo be ayisi le man fe moy nam folo ban ga mi moy wala mi ko nyaani ja la sirawo ning wo be dala ono pose le wala mo mo mantara nyo sabaka woto barin je kita wote kala ko nyel labanti bayre comme nga fa nyaaming amu kula de yalla ngani lo amanta lafta kuma nen ka fulay nyen nga ro do min fananke about udp la vote sol ko be min fala wala nyen ko 2016 mo jama e udp yen tentu janne yen kontan because ni aje oke ya jele ko man give up kabre 1996 UDP e lo dat nyim banko kan andu mi e lo UDP la londro o fena wolam nyin to ko democracy mantra nun jang minu nata patiol minu be jey ko e ban so inata foko UDP nata lo wol la ka wata jo bay anda be wata jo bay la ka mek so nyim banko la nyanto e murum na nyim banko kan andu a koleata ko koleata malla be koleala fa etam mi wo wato la bar kolea ka dajam bar woma UDP balit tala anu namul na ma give up ka carte fay nun jigira nyim min bebe keren diamo la ndoro bar hani bi hani kunu ndol be mitungo la birikama fo 12 o'clock talantang anim fula mul be bendu la to andi tata dawda nal ne moto be tambe la dawda mul ka fendina ne mulu be ka min folum nyindu go mba fayla le sibito anu mba fayla udp le nga mek sol ya gagne ni aje mul be o kala wolum nyindu ko mol still have hope in udp what the maya tenale gambia no nenete give up la on the democracy because neither udp give up the non democracy la non tenum bi kin na be taraja mona ki la be taraja ma fala modo le dingo mon na man sati bi ata kala modo tele modo dingo le be kala man sati te tarra ñoo sabal president ya ñum ko wal ba neejew president mi fa mo bi je bi wo keta no president ala ni udp ko le tata no me kay na yello na anti bijang wala tata ya bulo muta e kay ko na foy selo folo folo balantale bari ngay en kuri le fa lota bi wole mbonne be fe ngodo ndum udp ne na te muruna ko ma democracy la yim banko kan hanni tata yale ko ekomo clever bul hanni e un sojarol be fena ye dunia sojarol be fena we will continue to push for uh, strengthening of gambia's democracy annu won na neta munu na ko ma wolo biko na nyantolem wala mun na banko la nyaato tati nyim banko la nyaato ta and it cannot go without democracy so iba ko bele kata ka ye million wol dundi jele komi anti yam ye mem fo 300 each candidate ka million wol dundi ka billion wol dundi ye ko bele ka ka yudi pin kol bay ka ko beke bara ma munu na ko ma we are still pursuing and num be continue la wala le because min keda nga jiko min soto wala min ko to nyaala be labanna and no tonya wala mu democracy tilino be sabata la jang anno be bula yudi vi la bulu inshallah so mbo mbo message o thank you la je um ladies and gentlemen of the media i think we have gone really very far we will have the last question and uh and wrap up uh, thank you very much yes uh, i am abdullah jaba from the government and um asati okay i'm going back to the
great example. But about your this candidate you talking about. Um, what if what if the election is free? This one is free. What would be your response? Um we don't do hypotheticals at the UDP, just like we told the guy, we, don't, we do not keep it to. What we are saying uh, all the time is to insist, is to insist that the institutions that are established to ensure fair play, the IEC is number one in regulating elections and managing them. Um, the IGP is the chief law enforcement officer of the Gambia. We want all our complaints, all our petitions, finally, if there is uh, sufficient evidence, to take it to court. And we want, when we, were, when we make these petitions after elections, for the court to also look into them uh, for the sake of uh, justice. That is the way and that's the only way uh, we can go on in a democratic republic. So really, uh, sometimes these questions, they, they come uh, loaded, expecting that uh, we will uh, do things uh, differently. We have been consistent, as our party leader has said, what we have been saying, we mean it. Seriously, and in action and in deeds, we are going to be uh, very clear to everybody. But now we also uh, challenge Gambians. We challenge our uh, rivals in all the other political parties to ensure that once and for all we have proper electoral reforms in the Gambia uh, in the memory of uh, Solo Sandeng, who would be martyred seven years tomorrow. It was on 14th of uh, April 2016 that Solo last saw his family. It was 14th April 2016 that we last heard the cry for constitutional and electoral reforms. But both the media and the majority of Gambians seem to have forgotten about that ultimate sacrifice, that ultimate price. Uh, yes, at the beginning of the year, we gave him a, a fitting state funeral. But the, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the eulogy of the party leader at that occasion was that the ideals which made Solo give his life and the quest for which he was fighting for, still continues. So we are, we are asking all Gambians, particularly the media, to take this message to our compatriots that it is time to do substantial change in our laws so that they, they are not only free and fair, so, they are, so that elections are not only free and fair, but they are, uh, at the bottom of it, very democratic. Yes. Thank you. And um, with regards to the, um, your candidates, moving to just not the um, your, the case has been taken to, uh, you prepared the case to, uh, for the post. Um, there, um, during the, after the 2021 elections, you made a petition to the um, elections, counting out the elections, but the, the petition you go to, because it was too thrown in the past. Mm -hmm. What if this petition is being thrown in the past? No, this is what I was trying to say from the very beginning. We are not doing hypotheticals in the UDP. We act based on the evidence. We are also urging all the institutions involved in the governance of the country to do their job because they have been given the mandate to deliver uh, justice in, in elections to make sure that malpractices and electoral uh, fraud is investigated. This is all we are asking for. Because after the fact, it's always easy to get into hypothesis and say, oh, this is what we should have done, this is how we should have done it. Let all the institutions of governance fulfill their obligations and fulfill their mandate. This is what we are asking our, our leaders, our media, our civil society organization to amplify. Let us make the Gambia a champion for democracy and human rights and the rule of law once again, as it was during the dark days in Africa. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I now hand over to the Admin Secretary to just round up. Uh? Yes, um, 
thank all of you for being here and for being patient with us. It's been a long day and hope to see you again and urging all Gambians go out on Sunday, on Saturday and vote. Thank you very much.